Thanks, Nick. I'm here live from Mrs. Robertson's office with the first confirmed case of pork flu on the RL campus. I'm here with Tiny Tim. Tiny, how do you feel? You disgust me. I can't even stand looking at you. This has been Chris Fitzgibbon reporting live. Back to you, Nick. So, Mr. Sugg, what does May Day mean to you? <laughs> what does May Day mean to me? Um, a lot of ice, a lot of Advil, and probably time spent in Misty's room. Mr. Sugg, if May Day was an illicit drug that you had to warn your PD class about, what would you tell them? Well, May Day can be like an illicit drug in that it can be uh, self-destructive behavior in certain situations, so I guess I would say avoid that type of thing at May Day. Uh, the thing that jumps to mind would be team handball uh, against Mr. Tex. But most importantly, what team will you be supporting this year? I'm told the black team is the prohibitive favorite. Black team! Mr. Carroll, could you uh, list some of your proudest athletic accomplishments? So how much time do I have to explain? You have as, as much time as you need. You're not going to get to all the activities oh, go for it. today. Do it. Oh, all right. well, we go way back, as some of you uh, may know, uh, earliest medals won were in bowling. Bowling, yes. Bowling champion of, let me make sure I have the right part of Connecticut, Western Connecticut at the age of 12. Then we have to go camp, medals won in track and... Oh, that, that guy from uh, Kentucky, he was a better rifleman and archery person. He was first, he was shooting uh, squirrels at the age of, well, he was two feet tall, so I guess he's probably four years old. But I was second and third in uh, riflery and archery, and it goes on and on. I'm here with Dr. Garrett, and first question, could you tell us an athletic accomplishment eh, from un éxito eh, deportivo, por favor? Gané dos medallas de oro en las Olimpiadas de Barcelona de 1992, pero no recuerdo en qué deporte. <laughs> okay. And what team do you think will win? ¿Cuál equipo va a ganar este año, eh, Mayday? El equipo blanco. Blanco. Mr. Kerner, what does Mayday mean to you? Um, I don't know, flower, spring flowers, the rites of spring, bacchanalia, uh, maypoles, uh, and tanks rushing through the streets of Moscow. Josh. Okay, so uh, <clears throat> if Mayday were a book, what book would it be? Well, I guess I'd have to say A Confederacy of Dunces. I mean, one of the 60s counted the trophies, of course they weren't all mine, but 61 they found in the classroom, piled high in the corners. Um, what was the most memorable one? Wrestling, no doubt, would be the most memorable, where I once was lucky enough to win some championships when I was a kid. Um, so, Mr. Corshane, what team will you be supporting this year? I've had uh, a lot of fun uh, playing for the yellow team in the past, um, but I think I've got a secret sort of desire to, to, to try out the red team this year. I think uh, they've always competed pretty hard, plus I've got a lot of red on her. Mr. Chapel, thank you for uh, answering our questions. I'm curious to hear, what does May Day mean to you? Well, Carter, that's a great question. When I think of May Day, I, I think of some of the greatest sporting events on Earth. The World Cup, the Super Bowl, the NBA Finals. I think there's even something called the Stanley Cup. And uh, a lot of us here in the studio have heard that you're a soccer fiend. It's Chris, by the way. And um, we would like to know what formations and plays can we look forward to out there on the soccer field? Sorry about that, Curtis. Um, well, uh, when I think of uh, soccer plays, I think we're definitely going to be running the 
four four two. Uh, you know, uh, four guys in the back, uh, four guys in the middle, and two guys up front. And we're going to get it out to the flank, and we're going to go down the field. We're going to get a nice cross, and we're going to bang it in the goal. What else? College years. Well, I mean, I won medals in golf and tennis. What other sports are there? Cross country, road racing. You heard I won $175 last fall winning my age group in a road race. Um, what other sports are there? Badminton. What? Badminton? No, my mother was state champion in badminton, though. So, rounds in the play. My aunt was national champion in paddle tennis. We were good racket players. Remember my mother played tennis with, guess whom? Bush and Venus. Williams. You knew that. You remember the story, right? George Bush, absolutely. George Bush Senior, absolutely. So, uh, I don't. I think. I mean, we... So uh, we were just wondering, you know, what does May Day mean to you? I have no idea. <laughs> Mr. Brennan, what does May Day mean to you? Well, what I hope to get out of May Day, okay, is that uh, I'm alive at the end of the day. Speaking hypothetically, if May Day were a sexy, oh, what would that you was, do to it? That was hypothetically, yeah, you're right. What would I do with it? What would you do to it? Oh, do to it? Oh, uh -huh. yeah. Um, I definitely plead the fifth on that one. Uh, I love my job, and uh, we're getting close to summer, and I, I really want to enjoy the summer. Uh, I'm sorry, Chris. I, I would need so many lawyers to answer that. Uh, i got to plead the fifth. So I am here with Mr. Ellison today, and uh, thank you for having me, by the way. And I was just wondering, uh, what does May Day mean to you? And uh, how do you think your experience in the Marines will help you, uh, help you do well today? I'm not Mr. Ellison. Okay, well, thank you for your time. That's a dozen sports right there. Did have a, a championship softball team during the summer up in Maine, coaching girls, so had that exposure as well. <laughs> Can't say I'm as good in karate as I would like to be. So many of you know the 18-year-old girl has whooped me every time in sparring, but uh, uh, she's lucky that it's only in sparring. So if it was actually grappling, she would have no chance of <laughs> <laughs> So, uh... We were wondering, uh, just kind of upon first hearing it, what does May Day mean to you? May Day for... It's May Day. Oh, yeah, I know. My, my May Day is every time I be in a business, every time I work, that's my May Days. <laughs> All my May Days. Uh, Alright. Alright. That's it? Yeah, yeah, that's about it. Alright, yeah, thanks. See you guys. <laughs> thanks. Right. Mr. Russell, uh, what does May Day mean to you? Are you kidding? It's a, it's a fun day to have fun in the sun. And uh, so, okay, uh, if May Day were a flavor of ice cream, what flavor would it be? De definitely Neapolitan uh, for the variety. <laughs> now this, uh, bear with me on, uh, on this one here because it may seem a little bit out of left field, but say it's May Day, and uh, you find that uh, Mr. Delaney, Mr. Lieb, and Mr. Carroll are all caught in a burning building, which one would you save? Well, well I don't think I have to answer those questions. Uh, the statute of limitations has run out on all those uh, crimes in California in the, in the uh, 60s. Uh, Mr. Carroll and I were one of the few uh, a few who, sur who sur sur ah, my mouth's gone. Who survived? <laughs> Janis Joplin didn't make it. Who's the other uh, uh, rocker? I mean, none of them made it. They all died. Uh. So, Mr. Corshane, what does May Day mean to you? Handball, kickball. That's fun. I'm wow. glad.